story was, so uh, Mel was, they, they, they were during chanting, and Mel was hitting, hitting, the, hitting the fish. The mukugyo means, means wooden fish. He was hitting the fish, and he said, Roshi, there's a spider began, a spider walked up on top of the, on top of, uh, on top of the fish. He said, and I, and I kept trying to hit it in a different place. The spider kept hit the mukugyo. Hit, hit the mukugyo, yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Mel with him. <laughs> he said, but it ran into me, it ran into it. And then he said, what should I do? What should I have done? And after explaining how you cannot kill for quite a while, Tsukuyoshi said, however, if, 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 if that happened, what, what you should have done was, you should have stopped hitting the fish. Even if it throws the entire zendo into you know, commotion, if it all, you know, everything that they can't, you know, you should just stop. I can't remember, as you can see, I can't get the exact words right, but anyway. And so that's how, of course, we shouldn't kill either. So the point of this, of course, obviously, is not to say, hey, don't worry, you can't kill. You shouldn't kill. But you should also understand the other side. Okay. Or at least, at least with the Dharma, because here's the Dharma right here. So within the Dharma, let's say this is the Dharma, kind of a funny metaphor here, because it works. Within the Dharma, you know that there is something over there, even though you, even though you, you can't see it. So you have to take both sides, and, and, and our practice is basically putting, making ourselves aware of the other side so we can live our lives completely. And live our lives completely means to take into account both things. We live in the world of form, we have to take into account the world of emptiness. When we sit, we are actually taking into account the world of emptiness. Even though we don't feel emptiness, all, even though all we feel is our mind is empty, maybe at, just at the exact end. It's rather amazing, isn't it, about you'll be sitting and sitting and sitting and you'll be having thoughts and you have no clock in your mind and about 15 seconds before the bell rings, you don't have a thought. <laughs> have you ever had that experience? Yeah, right. So, why is that? Why has that always worked that way? Later on during Sashin, that doesn't happen. You have more, less, less thoughts. But in one period of Zazen, just right there, right there, no thoughts. But that is no thoughts. Okay. And that is an empty mind. It's still a mind, but it, it's, I mentioned this also last week. 